Hello! So in this video, we're actually going to explore and honor um, the holiday today, which is Pearl Harbor Day. I've been to Pearl Harbor, um, and it was one of my favorite spots to visit when I was in Hawaii. Um, just a very sacred spot. Um, a very... Um, somber feeling that I had there. So today is Pearl Harbor Day um, and we're going to do a crossword puzzle. Here's the puzzle. Um, let's get started. Let's do one down. So one down right here. It's a long one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve letters. And the clue is blank, blank of America. Blank, blank of America. What's the full name of our country? Yes. I get over here since I'm left-handed. United States. United States. Good job. That was an easy one. A great one to start off with. Okay, let's just kind of go down or kind of follow the so three across, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters, and the I's right in the middle. Three across says, world's largest ocean. So what side of the ocean, of the, of the world would we, is Hawaii and where Pearl Harbor happened? What ocean is that? The Pacific, right. Yes, Pacific. Okay, two down. Right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Seven letters, we don't have any helper, helper letters. Okay, this warship is the flat top warship. What's the fl the warship that's flat and it holds things and takes things to one place to the other? Yes, a carrier. Makes sense. Kind of like a cargo ship. It carries. Okay. Um, let's do this one. I believe it's four across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. It starts with an R and there's an E for the third to last letter right here. And the clue is Hoover's successor. Hoover's successor. So what president of the United States has a last name that starts with an R that, that came after Hoover? Does anyone know their president history and timeline? If you guessed Roosevelt, you were right. I'm gonna just get my cheat sheet just to make sure I spell it right. Roosevelt. Okay, five down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight starts with an S. Okay, this one, this clue is detachment of fighter jets. 
Detachment of fighter drip jets. I wish I knew a bit more about military lingo and stuff, but to give you more clues, but um, it's a group of soldiers or military. What's that called? What's another word for group or especially the military that starts with an S? A squad, okay. Yes, a squad, sorry, a squadron is the correct answer. Good job. Okay, seven across. One, two, three, four, five, six letters. And it has a T for the second letter. Another word for invasion. Invasion. Yes, an attack is correct. Okay, we're moving along. Um, six down. One, two, three, four, five, six letters. It starts with a T and there's an A right in the middle. An agreement. So when two countries make an agreement or an understanding, they make a, starts with a T. Yes, a treaty. You got it right, good job. Okay, where should we start next? We're going 11 across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six letters. There's an O and an E. An O is on the second letter. And there's an E for the fifth letter in the word. B-52, does anyone know what another name is for a B-52? So during an attack, the B-52 or the what is the one that kind of um, has the, what's it called? The explosions, I should say, or let's or or releases the explosions. What's it? Bomber, yes. Bomber. Okay. Eleven down. Let's kind of start connecting these ones over here. Eleven down. It starts with a B, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten letter word and it starts with a B. Vessel with heavy armor. A vessel with heavy armor. When you think of, you know, bat, I was about to give it away. Did anyone catch that? Um, during wars, um, you often see these type of, of um, vessels in the water that are military. Battleships. Did anyone catch that when I almost caught, when I caught myself? Battleship. Okay, 14 across. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and it ends with an A and an N. An Asian nation. So think of World War II, especially Pearl Harbor. What Asian nation was involved in that? Yes, Japan. Okay. Nine 
across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven letter word. There's an R for the third word and a D for the sixth word. Okay, nine across um, is underwater missile. Underwater missile. So it's not a submarine, but maybe they shoot out this. I'm not sure if, I believe that submarines shoot this out. Again, the clue is underwater missile. Yes. Did you guess torpedo? Torpedo. Okay. We're halfway through. How's everyone doing? Do you guys like these crossword puzzles? I kind of do. Let's do... This one, it's only three word, three letters. Armed conflict. Okay. So, these battles that happened, especially during when Pearl Harbor happened, we were in a, yes, a war. Is correct. Okay, 15 across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters. There's an R for the third letter and a T for the last letter. I'm sorry, that's six. Yeah, 15 across. Planes. Okay, so what's another name for planes or a group of planes? It starts with an A. That's pretty easy. Planes fly in the air. Yes, aircraft. Aircraft. Okay, 10 down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Seven letters. This is a Euro European country now. A European country that was involved in World War II. Where did the, you know, Nazi um, wars and battles happen? And the Nazi concentration camps, unfortunately, where did they occur mostly? Yes, in Germany. I love history and I, I've always wanted to go to Germany. Um, that's one European country that I would like to go to. Okay. Eight down. Let's just move right over here. Eight down. One, two, three, four, five, six letters. Okay, I gave this away at the very beginning of the video. The state that Pearl Harbor is in. It's an island in the Pacific Ocean. Yes, Hawaii. I love Hawaii. 12 across, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six letters. There's an A and an R in the word. A is the second letter and R is the last. Okay, an airport building. So where did all this, the aircraft and the airplanes, where were they stored or where were they stored? It's a building part of the airport. It starts with an H. Does that help? Yes, a hangar. Okay, two more. Okay, 16 across. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters, and there's an S for the second to the to last letter. An unexpected occurrence during wartime. The enemies always want to do this to their to the other side when it comes to attacks. Yes, surprise them. Okay, we are on our last puzzle. Okay, 17 across. This is a vessel that can go underwater and be driven underwater. And there's an eye for the Third to last letter. I've always wanted to go in one of these and take a take a ride in one of these and have it go underwater. It starts with an S. Yeah, you're right, it's a submarine. Actually, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's actually ten letters. Another a mistake that I made. Well, I hope you enjoyed this crossword puzzle as we kind of honor Pearl Harbor Day um, and thank everyone that had served um, and that had experienced and gone through. World War II in this time, I know it was a hard time, and um, so there's a lot of gratitude for um, those individuals and for you who lived during that time. Um, if you enjoy Crossword Puzzles, don't worry, there's another one this month, later in the month. Um, so hope you have a great day.